Jeg står her i Kim Kondutter landsby. Her ved de ikke meget om bæredygtighed. Men alligevel lever de rigtig bæredygtigt, fordi de ikke har noget andet vand. De bygger blandt andet deres huse af ler, græs og træ. De henter deres vand i floden og køber deres mad på det lokale marked. So what is your role in the village? I'm taking care of my children. And I'm also working as and building house so to, to, to become a home to our family. There's many roles for men. It's they protect the they protect the villages, the family. They go for other families and they bring some kettles. Who builds the houses in the village? That's the work of the women as as our culture. We build our houses using these materials like this one and the grass and the soil so that that the way that we used to to build our houses we got our water from the rivers they are down that is where we fish water we walk along so that we can get food for our children we get food from the market It's illegal to cut down trees, but you are just forced to, because you have no other way of finding the living. Maybe you just cut down the trees, you can sell those shackles, then you get your living. I have not cut down the trees if I had any other means of getting the living, but because you are just destroying the natural environment. If you are got by the government cutting down the trees, you'll just be maybe jailed yeah, or even be fined. We have been cutting trees and uh, I came up with a, a program that we start planting trees. So I'm the role model of the community that I tell them it's not good to cut trees. Let's start planting trees. And we uh, encourage people to plant trees for each family. How do you get rid of your waste? I also build a hole and put it inside and burn it. How do you charge your, your cell phones? You go and buy a solar, then you come and charge it here at home. But it's sometimes difficult because of the weather. Maybe if I get a lot of money, I will just improve my life there. Selvom Kimamanjuta landsbyen lever rigtig bæredygtigt, er der dog nogle undtagelser. De brænder deres skrald, hælder deres sæbe og opvaskemiddel ud i floden, og så har de alle sammen en mobiltelefon. Alligevel er deres CO2-aftryk meget, meget mindre end vores i Danmark. Yeah. 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 Yeah.